And Ken Kreitzer for Cam Vets Media. Jackson, good to see you. Uh, uh, tell us first, tell us how practice was. Look like it's very high energy, a lot of drills going on today. Oh, it was good. Good to move around and just keep on preparing for Colgate. Absolutely. Now, you've been playing left guard most of the season. Uh, tell us about uh, how you feel your season has gone and uh, how the offensive line has been dealing with the challenges week to week. Um, Things going good so far. I mean, we're just trying to keep on getting better as a team and improving together as an offensive line. And after each game, look at what we could have done better. And I think we definitely have the capability to be a very good offensive line. We're just going to keep on working towards that, getting better each week, figuring out what's wrong, and fixing it. Okay. Is it uh, left on the guards seem to uh, do more of the, of the pulling, going out to leading the plays? How, how do you feel like some of the key things that, that is different about playing guard in the optional offense? Um, I mean, it's fun. I get to pull and hit people. So that's always a positive. Um, and just different other things that we do, such as like scooping and cutting or um, even just base blocking. Like, it's all pretty important. So. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, with guards, it tends to be, the, you know, we look at Navy and look at the other teams. The guards tend to be bigger. You're, at, uh, you're listed at uh, 275. Is strength and conditioning a big part of uh, the position? Um, I'd say it is. I mean, you have to be able to hold your own in there, and we're definitely, like, conditioned well enough. Like, the coaches make sure of that during practice. That's the high intensity that we have during practice. And um, uh, just making sure that we're ready. And then, like, the strength team and coach using all them, they make sure during the offseason we get definitely get strong enough. Like, that's, they're awesome at that. And making sure that we're ready for that aspect of the game. And just uh, uh, final thought, what is it when, when the play is called, it's going to be a pass play? And instead of a block where you're going to go out and and, uh, and try to uh, really go get over the line and, and put a block on somebody. You're doing a different. You're stepping back to try to into a pocket or whatever the blocking scheme might be. What what changes in your mind when it all of a sudden is going to be a pass play? I mean, every play is super important. So just making sure that I'm locked in on my assignment and fundamentals and uh, things of that nature, and making sure that the quarterback has plenty of time to do what he needs to make a throw. Because we obviously don't throw very often, so when we do, we want to make sure that completion and get those yards. Absolutely. Good to see you tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, go ahead on Zoom. Sal, you can start. Uh, hey, Jackson. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Um, was this week of practice any different than the previous weeks uh, as far as maybe attention to detail more as um, blocking and that kind of stuff? Or what, what have you seen the first couple of weeks? So um, I mean, we always try to be as detail-oriented as we possibly can, whether it's our own personal fundamentals or different aspects of the team that we're prepping for, the offense game plan. So we always try to be super detailed and certain things of that nature. And I'd say we've done that again this week. Um, Will Jeffco got a start against Wake Forest, and we talked to him yesterday a little bit about that and how the teammates kind of got, got prepared for that. How much um, – can you talk about the – the camaraderie and the, the mob uh, room, so to speak, and just, I mean, it seems like there's a sense of pride um, for each guy who gets their chance um, to, to start or play on the offensive line. I mean, yeah, it was awesome to see him get his first start. Um, sadly, it wasn't the outcome we wanted for his first start, but we all definitely, like, we'll, we'll uh, meet with each other at night and go over different aspects of the game plan or just basic fundamentals of the offense, or we'll all go and do other things together just to try and make sure we're building that like cohesiveness as an offensive line. So it's definitely pretty close in there. But I mean, the whole team's pretty close, so. Is there anything that you've done outside of football that is a, is a lasting memory with you? Like I know you did the, uh, in over the summer, you did the, the, the whiteboard rafting. Is there anything else that is a lasting moment for you for memory? Um, I wouldn't say there's any like massive ones as big as like that's probably a big one that's like pretty easy to remember like a trip but I mean we're all together pretty often and just the amount of time we spend up here at football together and we'll go out to eat together and sit together at lunch and certain things like that so I mean we're just kind of around each other all the time so it's more just the like the smaller moments I guess that are, you kind of remember. Thanks. Go ahead Tom. Hey Jackson uh, talk about what you've worked on this year and what you're happy with your play, where you want to get better? Um, honestly, I'm just happy to 
be in the position I am in, being able to help the team as much as I can. Uh, definitely just try to play faster. That's always a big thing that people can improve on. Uh, play more violently, and then it's working out so far. So just keep on getting better at that and hammering out the details, such as like footwork or hand placement and certain things like that. And what brought you to West Point? Uh, does your family have a military background? Um, no, sir. So growing up, I wanted to attend the service academy, and then got offered here to play football. So it was pretty. And easy. where did that come from? Did you want to attend the service? Um, I don't really know. It was like fourth or fifth grade or something, and my dad told me about it. It sounded pretty cool to me, so I felt like it sounded like a good thing to do. And why did you get recruited by the other academies, or why are what do you like about being in the army? Um, I just like the. I feel like the team here, I think we have a pretty good culture here of just kind of like guys that like to get down and do the work um, day in, day out, no matter what it entails. I really like that, so I thought that was pretty cool. And, uh, you know, what, what you're dreaming about as a kid sometimes seems out different when you get older. Uh, I assume you're, you're happy with the way everything's turning out. Yes, sir, so far. Why? Tell me why. Um, Tell me what you enjoy about it. I mean, it's awesome. Like some of the stuff that we get to do here is pretty cool. I mean, I've gotten to shoot guns and mortars and stuff in the summer, so I mean, that, that's a pretty cool aspect of going to school here. And then be able to play Division One college football. I mean, that's a definitely that definitely was also a dream of mine, and being able to achieve that and you kind know, of look back and tell my younger self that I was able to do it. And, and being around here with all the guys on the team is another massive highlight. And one more thing, uh, I don't know if uh, Army football players realize it, but uh, most schools, colleges, have closed practices. You're not getting in there, the media's not getting in there and watch. And they don't make a, but a handful of players available, quarterback and maybe a couple of others. But at Army, the practices are open, and we didn't get to talk to offensive linemen. <laughs> so I, I don't know, are you guys aware of that? Do you appreciate that? Um, this is pretty cool. I actually didn't really even know that, but I guess it's pretty cool that they trust us and are willing to let us uh, talk to other people. I think we're all set with Jackson. Thanks, everyone.